On the Gold Coast, an emergency patient has been rushed in to Gerardo. It's a badly injured two-year-old greyhound called Zeus. Zeus was brought down to us because he was racing around the track. He slipped and they think he may have broken his leg. So one of the nurses there has been able to wrap it up for us. And she did a pretty good job. Luckily, there were some vet nurses there that were able to stabilise his fracture with a splint. I'm just worried because he was going into a bit of shock. Get some pain relief for him. We'll make him feel more comfortable. Hey, Zeus, it's OK, mate. Good boy. That must have really hurt. Must have been hooning down around the track. This guy's run so fast. Good boy. Owners Christina and Howard have had the rescue greyhound for just one week. Zeus is the most docile, friendly, beautiful nature dog. He's a dream dog. He loves to run, but then on a corner, he fell and, well, it was hanging, so. He seems okay, his back legs. Just gonna check his other front leg. That's right, that pain relief will be kicking in soon, mate. He'll feel a lot better soon. Zeus needs urgent x-rays. Greyhounds are pretty robust creatures. They're designed to run fast. But when something goes wrong, when they fall over, they hit at high impact, so things can be disastrous. One of my biggest concerns is he may have shattered that bone beyond repair. Can't imagine how fast you may be running. Oh, oh, just oh wow, there. oh just my. There. Just there. Oh, he's up and here. He's... And he got up, he got up again. That's when I got a shock and got the camera. Oh, he fully rolled, didn't he? Mm. The next step is obviously we would take him into x-rays. Mm -hmm. The big unknown is how severe mm -hmm. the, the fracture is, mm -hmm. so. That's um, understandable. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Zeus, oh, he's the most friendly, beautiful nature dog. Ooh. He looks really comfy now, doesn't he? Yeah. What we're gonna do now is gonna place an IV catheter, start him on some fluids, then we're gonna do an anaesthetic and take him to x-rays. Good boy. Best patient ever. Yes, he's been a very good boy. He's been moved. No, he hasn't. The most important thing we need to determine is how bad that fracture really is. It's time to find out what happened, hey? The worst case scenario is the fracture is in multiple pieces and it could be too difficult to repair. Okay. Well, they did a good job. Quick thinking nurses at the park were able to apply a makeshift splint to Zeus's leg. I, what do you think that is? It's just a pen. That's a pen. So what they did is they used two pens and it's formed a splint on either side of the fracture. That was really good thinking because that makes him feel a lot more comfortable almost immediately. How's it going, is he okay? Yeah, he's nice and stable. Nice and stable because once we take this off, he might experience some pain. Oh no. That is definitely broken. He's just removed the bandages and immediately I can tell it's completely fractured. He's broken both bones and his lower forelimb there straightened too. Well, let's take an x-ray and have a look and see, hey? The other thing I'm concerned about is that I can see there's bleeding there, which means that there actually may be bone that has penetrated through to the skin to the outside. That is a big infection risk. X-ray. In. This must have been incredibly painful for Zeus. Oh. Wow. Completely fractured through the lower forelimb. X-rays have confirmed Gerardo's worst fears. We got some more x-rays and things just look worse. This is his right leg, this is his normal leg, and this is his left. And that's even possibly a piece of bone sticking out through the skin. This is a serious fracture. The young greyhound is going to need immediate surgery with an orthopaedic specialist. My job today is to stabilise Zeus, keep him comfortable, clean out the wound, and then get him prepared and ready for specialist surgery because this is a fracture that I don't want to touch. I'm hoping that there's no bone poking through. Oh no. That is his bone. Now that we know it's an open fracture, our biggest concern is infection. So we're gonna flush 
the area and start them on some IV antibiotics. Anyway, we can change the gloves and then we'll do the final flush in there, hey? Yeah. What we're doing now is flushing the inside of the hole where the bone is because there's exposed bone there now. The flush is really important because if we can get rid of any debris that's in there, then that will reduce the risk of infection occurring later. Bones do not like infection. Let's wrap him up, hey? Here we go, see if we can get this rolling. So what we're doing now is we're placing a, a Robert Jones bandage. So it's a real thick layer of cotton and then we'll compress this cotton down and it'll form a nice compressive bandage that will keep swelling down and stabilize the fracture at the same time. Sound like a watermelon? Yeah, it does, yep. We know when it's right, when we can flick it and it sounds like a watermelon. It means that the pressure is enough. It's been a rough day for Zeus. He's got a significant fracture. It's gonna cause him a lot of pain. My hope is that they can fix it. We've done everything we can for Zeus. Now it's time for the surgeons to work their miracles. You rest up, mate. And it seems nothing can hold back adventurous Zeus. The rescue greyhound's shattered leg has healed well. He's looking forward to gentle walks in the park as he continues to recover. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.